really looking forward to it. Um, as always, always, with the nature of this league, always throw up a, t a tough challenge. Um, Mortrelham play a, you know, a great brand of football. We've got some real good attacking players. Um, so we're going to have to definitely be at our best, as always, as, as, as we say every week. But, no, look, we're really excited by the game. Um, you know, we, we should be in confident mood. We've put three good results together. And, uh, you know, it's given us a bit of a platform and something to build on. Oh, it's, been, it's been vital and, and confidence has to be earned. I've said that before. It's not just something given. You have to earn it and, um, you know, coming through your hard times and sticking together and showing that togetherness. I think I was, I was really pleased. I think probably from the outside, people could be forgiven for thinking the worst when they probably saw the injury list and, uh, you know, the youthful setup of our side. But, um, you know, they've really stood strong. But now comes the acid test is can you keep delivering that week in, week out? And uh, we've got to keep rising to those challenges. Gone back. Yep, yep. He uh, had a good month just to top his top his minutes up and get back fit. Where he sort of come out of the team due to a head injury and stitches and and whatnot. And uh, you know we, we were very lucky to get Venno in, who I felt had a fantastic start to his his loan move. Again, has been scuppered by injury lately, but delighted that we managed to keep him at the club for for another month. And and really disappointed for Gimme Torre. He really was our uh, stellar signing um, we had to be patient to try and build him up because as you know getting a player of that quality um, he, he wasn't match fit so we were we were sort of introducing him slowly to get the best out of him for for his loan period unfortunately he slipped on the AstroTurf on the outside of Barnett's pitch where um, you know the surface changed and He's um, had to have an operation, so he's gone back to Carlisle, and we really wish him well um, with that, with his uh, rehab there. But yeah, really disappointing because we we manoeuvred things around, and um, he, he's he's one, you know, he's a big player. I, I felt that he was going to have a real big impact for us, but that wasn't the case. And with 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 all the injuries that are happening, comes great opportunity, and these young lads they're really standing up and being counted at the moment. But like I said, we're certainly not getting carried away. A really tough test on Saturday. Going to have to be our absolute best. You know, we're going to have to improve um, from the previous games. We know that we've got to get better. We can't stand still for a second in this league. Um, so, I said, uh, certainly excited, but you know, looking forward to the hard work that lays ahead. You know, Joe Gubbins has come in and impressed against Kings Lynn. Also off the bench, Mikel and Joe. Yep, again, really pleased with, with Mikel's impact. Um, again, come out of the team with a slight, slight growing strain and uh, just shows how important the squad is. I mean, you know, we've, we've, we've really gone deep into the squad now and, uh, and, and, the, and the signing of Joe Gubbins, who's, who's come in again because of the, you know, we've had a, a lot of injuries in that area and for, for a young man to come in and show the maturity that he did in that game and obviously the quality that he possesses, uh, you know, was a great signing for us. And we're very lucky for, for QPR trusting us with, with one of those play, with one of their starlets. And, um, you know, he took his chance Saturday, but now this is the nature of the league. Can, can we go again? This is the big challenge. This is what I'm most excited to see. Um, can, can we continue to surprise some people? Um, but, you know, we've had a, a good week's training again. We're starting to see a few other faces come out in and around the training ground now they're starting to get get out which is a good sign they're starting to, they're, you know they're getting further ahead in their rehabilitation so you know so hopefully soon we'll have a, a real competition for places but at the moment uh, I'm hoping we're winning um, the league for fielding the youngest team that's what we're trying to do at the moment um, my little boy is ready to play on Saturday he's eight years old nine years old now so uh, no but we're um, no we're really we're really we're really enjoying um, the period at the moment and we want to continue to enjoy that so we've 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 got to uh, keep our feet firmly on the on the floor and keep wanting to improve you mentioned the younger squad there how important has it been obviously for the boys you know Alfie and Tommy have spoke about it especially have said they go out with no fear and how how vital has that been with the results we've had in recent weeks you know I think it's their their endeavour and their heart work rate I think they uh, epitomise what this club's about and it's that never say die attitude that's um, you know getting an opportunity and taking it and, and, and fighting for the shirt and then that's that's what we're doing at the moment but you know we've got to uh, continue to keep trying to trying to improve I know I keep saying the same things but you know the heart the heart the hard work the resilience that work rate, that, that's a given, that, that's a non-negotiable here that, and that needs to be shown in abundance and we, can't, we can start to marry up the other side of our game as well, which we have been doing uh, with, with the other players coming back, I'm sure we'll be in a strong place but as always it's about the here and now, it's about tomorrow 
and it's about get, reaching those levels again. Of course, back-to-back -back wins for us against Ultram last season. Your first test against Ultram is Aldershot manager. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, a quality side. I think they're, they're, they're front lines, uh, very clever, very skillful. We're going to have to be right on our guard. And um, I've certainly been really impressed with um, the way that they've played and uh, the, the way they've grown as a, as a team as well. Um, they're you know a really strong outfit. And uh, we're going to get a real stern test again. So I said I'm I'm, I'm excited to see how we how we how we you know how we rally to that. Back at home, how much of a factor is that going to be on Saturday? Yeah, look, it's been it's been fantastic being at home lately. Um, you know those those couple of wins have certainly changed changed the mood around as well. But you know we've really enjoyed playing in front of that, and we want to carry on. So to carry on playing in front of a crowd like that, we've got to make sure that we. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.